So we got three different flight pads here. We got the Razor Rion, Power A Fusion, and the Hori Flight Commander. Between the three, in my opinion, all of the buttons here, they all kind of feel the same. It's pretty similar. They're not significantly different, but the main difference to me is the feeling of the D-pads. And really this comes down to personal preference. Now the Hori Flight Commander is something that I have used for the last five years. And the only reason I bought a new one is because my last one broke the buttons after five years, started to stick. My X button started to get stuck and the input would get stuck for a little while. Uh, additionally, on my D-pad, after five years of use, the down button on the D-pad is starting to get stuck and I had to get a replacement so that it would function properly again. Generally speaking, this was a very good flight pad and I had a very uh, fun time using this one for a long time. So much so that I even bought a replacement just because I like using it. So I, I got a, this is my second one I already got. The D-pad is very straightforward. It's up, down, left, right. The directions are very precise. It's very easy to understand which direction you're pushing. And if you uh, push it, uh, it's kind of on the spongy side. There's no clickiness to it. It's kind of soft when you push it, okay? On the Pare Fusion, this is a little different where instead of a straight up directional up, down, left, right, you got a disc type of directional pad and it's very easy to rotate this as a 360 motion. Um, it's not so bad if you were to do say like a dragon punch, like a forward, down, and down forward type of motion. It feels good and it's very easy to do the diagonal motions because it's a disc as opposed to this one you're gonna have to make sure you position your finger properly to be able to push two directions at once it, in my opinion it's really easy to understand what you're inputting here but it's more difficult on this side it's easier to input but it's harder to understand and feel what you're putting in but if you were say playing a character like Zangief, it's really, really useful to have this type of disc D-pad because doing a 360 motion is way easier on this than it is, say, on a Hori flight pad, right? Okay. Now, on the Razor Rion, on this one, it's similar to the Power Infusion in that it has a disc type D-pad. However, if you can hear that, there's buttons underneath the D-pad that kind of click. And when you push the D-pad, it registers on those buttons underneath the D-pad, which creates a very, very precise input. And this is it, it's kind of like a combination of this D-pad and that D-pad where it's very precise, but it also has that, the benefits of having like a disc kind of motion. Now, the downside of the Razor Rion compared to the Power Infusion and the Hori Flight Commander is that if you push too hard on the Razor Rion, you can actually activate all four directions at once. And that's a major downside if you are a, if you have a very heavy thumb because if you mean to only push one direction at a time pushing all four you can actually negate the direction that you're pushing if you're pushing two directions at once then instead of pushing back or like if you're a charge character like Guile or a bison and you're pushing back and you want to hold, charge the character if you're pushing too hard on the center, you can actually create a neutral input because you're pushing both forward and back at the same time. However, if you can learn to only push uh, lightly, then your, your 
inputs will be very precise. So it takes a learning curve, but if you can adapt to using it, it can be very precise. So good and bad. Okay. So really between the three, it's a personal preference kind of a thing. Again, in my opinion, all these buttons are pretty much, they feel the same. But the D-pads can be profoundly different depending on your personal preference, right? If you're playing any kind of character, I feel like the Horrified Commander is a good balanced controller. If you're playing a grappling character, I would say you'd have an advantage using the Power A Fusion controller. And if you enjoy uh, D-pad, fight pad controllers, and you can control your strength of input, the Razor Ryan, in my opinion, is my, it's actually become my personal preference of fight pad controllers that I would like to use. But it does take a learning curve. It gives a distinct difference, it, a distinct advantage of the precision input, but it does require lighter input compared to the other fight pads.